Heading towards the first corner in Abu Dhabi. Going to be very tentative. Don't want any contact into the first corner. But that's not happened at all. I've been hit round from behind. No idea what it was that hit me round. And my Salba and me find ourselves in almost last position as we head towards turn two behind a HR. Oh. Brilliant. Heading towards the first corner in Abu Dhabi again. Bit of contact with the McLaren and it's a carbon copy of last race. I've been spun at the first corner. I'm in P7 this time so it's not as bad as last lobby. And we're, uh, oh, fuck. Is this game serious? What the hell is wrong with Abu Dhabi's second corner? God. Hello everyone. And I've got two things to tell you before this race begins. First one, there will be a lack of videos in January. Really sorry about that. Exam time for students of the UK. Life's a bitch. Number two is that without wishing to tempt fate, I'm approaching 10,000 subs. And if I ever hit that landmark, I will do a Q&A. So please post your questions in the comments section. They don't have to be F1 related. They can be F1 related if you want them to be. And I will try and uh, I will pick some of those and, and answer as many as I can in the Q&A if I hit 10,000 subs. That's the plan, but there's a big if as to whether I'll actually hit that landmark. But here we are. On the grid in Silverstone, in P3, in a Red Bull, and the lights are taking their time again. Charlie Whiting is really slow at pushing that button at the moment, but we've got five now. And away we go off the line. The Oh my god, the, 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 the Virgin there just didn't start there at all. He just stopped on the grid and we're flying towards the first corner. It's flat out, of course, at Silverstone. We've gone through it. And I'm behind the Lotus run. I've, I've avoided the carnage that took place. There's a group of four cars headed towards that corner. I would not like to be in that group. As I go around the outside of the loads, I'm trying to hang, hang it around the outside. He's put me on the grass as we go through the DRS line, which we obviously can't use because it's only lap one and you can't use it in three lap races anyway. We've used half our curves off the line. We're trying to get in the slipstream of the Lotus right now and I'm smelling it under pressure here. I'm smelling it under pressure. I'm smelling... Oh no! No, there was a, a rather aggressive move made by the HRT around my... Uh, inside there and he's coming around my outside now but I've got the inside line for this corner and I've taken him no the end of pressure I'm, I'm having to watch behind here there's a very very fast HRT behind me a very very feisty HRT as well as we fly through the first corner I've gone round the outside of the Lotus Renault they're side by side as we go towards um it's not Be Beckett's it's, it's Maggots Maggots I don't know who named that corner but you know <laughs> Maggots I'll take it the Ferrari's gone off no idea how or well, what happened there? But the Ferrari's down in about 8th position and I'm still behind this Lotus Renault and I still can't get past this Lotus Renault. And I've got a very, very angry something behind me as I'm trying to fishtail the Lotus Renault. I don't know why I'd be trying to do that, but I was. And I've now got the HRT up my inside again and I'm still going right. The HRT's absolutely jumped us all. I think there's a McLaren coming down my left-hand side here. Yes, the McLaren's come from nowhere. There's four cars going into the final chicane here and... And they're all going off all over the place. The HRT's got the lead of the race somehow. The Lotus Renault's down in third. The McLaren and the Lotus Renault are absolutely going at it, shall we say. And I've been feathered wide into the first corner by, I don't know what it was. It was something. And there's just so much going on. I can't even tell you all about it because, oh, they've gone one. I'm going to take them both through the second corner. Maybe not. No, they've, they've pushed me onto the grass again and I've lost it. And I almost got absolutely cleaned out like a like teeth by by a toothbrush then uh, because the, the the Lotus Renault had me. Now they're still side by side as we head towards um, uh, I really need to improve my corner knowledge of Silverstone. I know they all have names but I don't know a lot of them. I only really know Maggots and Beckets and, uh, and Maggots and Beckets. Uh, oh and Cops. This next one's Cops I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah. No. Yeah, and then the one at the top, Stowe. Yeah, they're the four. And I've absolutely... Oh, no, I haven't. No, I've... No, I've... Uh, 
have a legal over Tatum. Yeah, that was probably justified. I cut across the grass to get him. And me letting him back through has allowed the Ferrari to take me. I'm just dropping positions here. What the hell am I doing? I, can't, I was in second position, and now I'm about four s t seconds off the lead. I'm absolutely sick of this BS now. I'm going to have... I'm, Pulling out the aggressive driving mode. I'm down the inside of the Ferrari. Will I take him into Stowe? Bit of contact. Not too, uh, not too rash though. And now I'm taking up the inside of the Ferrari. Almost lose the rear end. But uh, held it together. And now the other HRT is behind me. And I'm going to lose fifth position in a minute. And I'm getting really wound up. Cut the corner there. A bit rash. But uh, got away with it. Well, didn't get away with it. I got a warning. But I'll take it. And uh, still all over this Belgian Ferrari's rear end. And cutting through the first corner nice less. Stayed on the track. The Ferrari's fallen victim to the Lotus Renault's bashing skills. And the Ferrari's out of the race. I take P4. Now I'm going around the outside of the, the, the Lotus Renault again in that corner. But no, that hasn't happened. And I've hit the Lotus Renault off. I'm going to get a penalty. Nailed on penalty. There we are. Justified penalty. Little bit aggressive on the driving there. Just, just touched his rear end as we left the corner. And he lost his, he lost control. And the HRT's gone horrendously wide. I'm going to ignore that penalty, despite the fact it was valid, I would say. Because it was a little bit aggressive from me. And I'm going to focus on catching these two. I've managed to get myself up into P3, back on the podium, despite the fact that that penalty will take me off the podium, unless I get 10 seconds ahead of everyone. Flying through cops now, absolutely after that. Is that the HRT or the McLaren? It's one of the front two. And I'm going to try and take him towards the end of the race depends how well I do this Beckett's and Maggots complex and the answer to that is quite well no not well at all I've got that completely wrong and I'm I'm going to have lost a lot of time on this straight and the Sauber I didn't even know there was a Sauber in this lobby that's the first I've seen of him has just overtaken me on the uh, hangar or Wellington straight whichever whichever one this is I think it's the hangar. I might be wrong though and we are going through Stowe now and I think P4 is nailed on I might be able to take the Sauber, if he makes a boo-boo the final corner, but he doesn't look to have done that, which is a shame. And we are going to take fourth position and probably get demoted one or two due to that 10-second penalty that the Sauber had as well. So that's that's an interesting one for you. Fastest lap time from me there. I'm not sure if that's a 129 or a 139. That's horrendously slow. Anyway, apologies, but there will be a lack of videos in January, as I mentioned before. Please leave your questions for the Q&A if I hit 10k subscribers in the, dis in, the, in the description, in the comments section of this video. And I will answer as many of those as I can. Don't have to be F1 related. Thank you ever so much for watching. Goodbye.